Tom Nappy here with Select Board Chair Brennan Tedstone. Brennan, congratulations on your re-election to the Select Board Thank and you. your appointment to chair. Thank you very much on both accounts. Uh, can you tell us what made you want to run for a second term? Yeah, so Hopkinton is pretty near and dear to me. Um, you know, I've been here for my whole life. Uh, my family has been here for many generations, uh, and uh, I just have a love for the town. And you know, I, I think that it's important when uh, you know for the town that as we grow and get bigger exponentially, that we have someone in town that really kind of knows its history and is able to kind of fuse the old with the new. What What are um, some of the things that you hope to get done as select board chair? Um. So as far as the chair goes, you know, the, the rule that I've always thought as a chair is I'm delivering the message that our board gives. I don't make any unilateral decisions as much as I'd love to. Um, you know, it, it's something that we all need to collaborate on, and any of the issues that come up, we all just have to talk it out, and, and I'll be the one that presents a lot of it and kind of runs the meetings. But... As far as, uh, as being on the board, as the chair, you know, you have a lot more stuff behind the scenes like setting up the meetings, agendas, and meeting with people, you know, off camera, if you will. But uh, for the most part, it's, it's the same. But my, uh, my goals for, for, you know, the next, for this year as the chair and the following two as a select board person, member, chairman, um, my hope is that we, you know, we continue the town moving forward, and and we'll, any bumps in the road that come up, we'll we'll take care of, and and uh, and you know try to keep the taxes low, services status quo, and you know we're the the, uh, the safest town in the country, and you know, one of our schools are one of the best in the state, and you know the fire department, you know it, we can't leave them out there, you know it's it's a it's a great uh, great department of little partial because I was part of it for 15 years or so, but uh, it's just a great place to be and, and uh, to have the people in town you know, have the confidence in me personally to cast their vote for me and think that I can help steer the town and keep it great, then that's uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, a sobering, sobering concept for me. Oh, certainly. Um, now, you've been chair for a couple of meetings now. How has yeah. it gone so far? Good. How do you like the role? Uh, first meeting, I thought it was going to be easy. First meeting, we were like an hour early uh, through the agenda, whipped through it. Um, and then we got in a little bit more in the weeds with a couple of things the, the last meeting. So uh, time-wise, uh, you know, I, I do count on Norman to kind of ballpark where we think the time, you know, the allotted times are for the uh, for the agenda items. But, um, you know, for the most part, it's it's not a whole lot different, you know, except I'm the first person to speak during the Pledge of Allegiance. Which is nice. <laughs> now, uh, one thing circulating the news outlets is the proposal for an international marathon center in Hopkinton. Yeah. What's your take on the idea? It's great. You know, anytime we can, we can talk about Hopkinton in a positive manner. Um, you know, it, I, I think it's great. I think that it has the, the ability to, bring a lot of commerce to town, um, a, a lot of positive notoriety, a lot of uh, positive energy. Uh, and to to really promote the marathon, which is kind of what puts us on the map to begin with. So, uh, so now we we have the ability with this if this marathon uh, center comes to fruition, which I would assume it would, we have the ability to showcase our town not just for the one week a year when the marathon's here between Kenya Day and whatever, but all year long. And people, you know, are people going to come here in July to to take a tour of the uh, of a marathon? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a runner, um, but will they train at the at the training facility? Absolutely, and and I think it just I don't see anything detrimental to the town uh, in this. I think that uh, that Tim Kilduff and John Catino had a nice piece on Fox News the other day. I think it also portrayed our town as a very positive, uh, you know, positive one. And uh, anytime we can promote our town in a positive manner, I think it's great. All right, well, uh, we want to congratulate you again on your re-election to the select board and your appointment to chair, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. I appreciate it.